Rev up your engines! when you start it or clunks when you put it into gear then you probably need a new motor mount because it's cracked so today I'm going to show you how to change a motor mount on your car now this engine clunked when you started it up and put it into gear so I'll check the front motor mount first as you can see it's quite obvious the thing is all cracked into pieces now a lot of times it isn't that obvious so you get a jack and jack the engine up and then you look at the motor mounts and transmission mounts and if they're broken you'll see them separate as you jack the engine up in the air and it'll be obvious now to remove the old motor mount the first thing you do is take these three bolts off where it bolts to the engine in this Honda it's a 14 millimeter socket then you get a 17 millimeter wrench and take the bottom bolt off that goes through the mount then the bolt comes out and the motor mount bracket just slips up out of the way and now we just have to remove the bolts that hold the motor mount to the frame of the vehicle and as we finish taking the bolts out the motor mount comes right out and as you can see it's all broken and cracked up time for a new one and you can see here's a nice new one and there's nothing cracked in that then you just get the new mount and line up the holes then you put the bolts in and tighten them up Get them nice and tight because it's holding the engine in. Then you get the motor mount bracket and stick that back on. Slide it right in place. Then get the giant through bolt and stick that on first. It just slides in and you tighten it up. And now comes the hard part. You have to line it up. So get your jack and jack the engine up a little. Just enough so the holes line up. And there they are. You can see a little bit of jack and then now they line up. Then you put all the bolts in and tighten them up. And again, make sure they're nice and tight because it's holding the engine in. <clears throat> and that's it. Let's try it out and see if it clunks. One, two, three. No more clunking. So the next time you get a broken motor mount, why not try fixing it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.